Hello everyone. In our today's video, we're going to learn how to create a theme in Next.js application. As you see, that's just running in the dark theme. If I click and choose the right theme, as you see how background color is changed, how the text pattern is changed, everything changing very properly. If I go back dark again, if I just go in system theme, in my system, I'm running that dark mode. So it's coming in the dark theme. And if I go in light, it's coming with the light theme so you're going to implement it in a very easy way so now here i'm learning one nextjs application as you see that's the default setup when you're just going to install nextjs by following the documentation you need to go to the get started and then just follow the command and start that so that's the thing i have been done so that's the beginning page like the demo page for the nextjs so what i'm gonna do by default the tailwind setup is implemented with the nextjs so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna go in my app and from here in the global globals.tsx i'm gonna remove everything except the three fundamental category to just configure the tailwind css and in the app i will just make Control A, remove everything. Then I will make RAFCE, creating a new functional page, and then it will be my home page. So, home page, hit the save. So now, as I did that, as you see, that's my home page is running here. So, first thing first, we need to set up our environment, and we are going to do that using that chatgen ui as you see there's a documentation here and it's a very good library to just going through all of the components and capabilities i'll go in the docs and from here i will choose the installation and prefer the next chest so that's the part i have been done so i need to follow this part as i'm using the pnpm i will copy that line in the my another terminal okay i'm gonna paste that and hit enter so that's the same just going through the configuration for regarding that uh for the session ui as you see if you just go and read the documentation in a bit as you see here is the very good description what it going what is going to ask you and how you're gonna just configure it so if i come back here it's just getting a bit of time to install as you see now i need to choose which one i prefer i'll go the default setup slits and yes i want variable colors so give it a time to install as you see it's already generate one components.json file and it's gonna just grab through the components for uh, like directory here and also in the lib it shows it gonna just install what all are the necessary elements to be installed so okay now first thing first let's just get something to check is working or not i will just get a button here to click as you see this entire design i will get and i will just go and run that command done so after running that if everything going all right it will be able to install one button here as you see it's already started installing so progressing uh, okay just give it a time to get an explore as you see in that button i need to also install these properties so it will be pnpmi and as i think it's installed already yes so by default it's just getting that if you go in the package you see it just getting everything for you so now how we can see the button so in my home i'll just call a button properties here so button and here it will be let's put demo button hit just save so now if i come back here as you see i got a button <laughs> so it's very simple to uh, just implement and very easy to go on that so first thing first let's just go and get my header here so i will just go in the components here i will create a file which is going to be header.tsx rafce uh, okay just to create a functional component i'm going to make it bigger here so now this header i'm going to just go and put it in my layout as i want it to prefer in all this screen so let's go in the layout and it will be my header save so now i got a header so now in the header i need to go and prefer some of that class name here to make it looks better so I'll just give a name of a header and put a class name over there. And first thing first, let's just configure the theming mode so that we can just go and grab that. Either way, we can go and grab that letter also. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just make that one as they just, uh, I want to provide that as you say. So it should be the default text here. And I'm going to give it just border of bottom. So it will be border b going to be one pixel 
okay and also it going to be border black and the opacity going to be 80 so that's the way i'm going to configure all the class names so what i'm going to go i'm going to grab the class name to just to be implemented here now let's see what i did whenever it's going to be dark theme the text it will be gray 300 in the border bottom it will be one pixel border black and whenever in the drag border bottom will be white of 20 percent of the opacity now one more things i'm going to generate here to create a container so container.tsx rafce so that container will be responsible to generate like the min width and max width properties so i'm going to just go and define here should be that first let's see what kind of things it will be there so in the props i'm going to make that as a children which going to be react dot react note the type for here and for the class name uh, if if the class name is available it will be as a string okay so now here i need to get that to define parameters so it will be ld children and it will be class name which going to come from the props and here i'm going to pass the children to render everything and also here i'm going to put the class name and remember when you use the chat ui in the lib in the utils there is a cn to cross check our class name property so i'm going to put that cn here and right now i'm going to provide first my class name which is going to be max suite screen axle and it will be mx auto and a padding y should be 10 and padding x should be 4 okay done and after that if i want to put some class name also i can get and grab that here so now let's roll back to the header and here i'm gonna generate my container here to get my proper within height so now also i'm gonna create another link parameter okay link which going to be coming from the next link and i'm gonna make that as shen for slash ui to just to get the logo here and href it's just going to combine it at home with a class name text going to be uh, let's give lg font will be bold hit save okay right now as you see oh, okay it's getting uh like a very very uh bigger so i'm gonna make a padding y of five okay not this one let's put in the container put a class name i'm gonna go with the padding y of five as you see that looks nicer so now i need to prefer some of the other parameters so that's the ui and here i'm gonna just go and grab one navigation tab by which i'm gonna generate all the navigation parameter so that's my link and here i'm gonna going to prefer another div and then i'm gonna make that navigation dot map and I'm going to take the parameter as the item just going to return in inline and the similar way going to return the link and first of here on that properties should be item dot title and the href should be the href of that item dot href so means whenever I'm going to click it's going to just go with that uh, theme on the docs or components if I click here as you see it will go in the components but as I'm not having that any of the pages it will not redirect here even though I create a click on theme if I go in the chat chain UI as the logo it's going to take me in the home page so now let's just go and grab some designs here should be class name and it's going to be a flex item center gap x axis should be five and text going to be a small text and font will be semi bold hit save as you see looks perfect so now in that here i'm gonna make also flex item center justify between as you see it's just going to roll over here but what i really want not to be uh dealt with everything here i'm gonna just go and grab everything within a deep properties and now I'm gonna put a class name on that div. Should be flex item center gap x should be five. Done. So see these things is coming all together. Looks better. So now I need to grab that theme toggler. So by which I'm gonna generate the theme. So first thing first, let's go in that shell chain UI. I'm gonna go with the theming parameter or the dark mode. So that will be my mode. Click in the next chess and I need to install this demo over here so i'm gonna go and 
is that so it's gonna install my next themes after grabbing my next themes i need to create my theme provider as you see that will be the name of the theme provider just gonna copy that and over here in the components create a file which is going to be theme provider.tsx i'm gonna just paste this command here as you see that's going to be work pretty much fine and now i need to link my provider here within my layout so let's roll back to the layout here and i'm gonna just cut all should be provider uh, should be theme provider uh, theme provider paste everything here and i need to grab this attribute and grab this also the default theme parameter hit save let's roll back here uh, as soon as i came here as you see it's just giving a separate parameter i'm going to inspect that and i'm going to remove all the caching and other things let's see which theme is coming okay right now it's giving me that portion so let's roll back to my uh, pages here i think we need to make something here okay in that deep uh put a class name text will be black and dark whenever i'm in dark mood text should be gray of 300 okay and mean height should be a screen and also i'm gonna put some of that parameters here but first need to just check the header but before that let's just roll back our theme toggler so this is the thing here so that's the toggler we are talking about so we need to create the toggler and then just roll back here so i'm gonna take another ui here so the file which will be so it will be theme toggler.tsx let's just go and grab this command from here hit paste okay so now i need my drop down menu so how i'm gonna get that so to get the drop down menu here so which is going to be from here and i need to run this command to get this drop down menu hit enter and after installing i'll be able to not installing just creating that as i'm running that npx command which coming with the dlx with pnpm so my drop down will be installed right here as you see it's already here so it will be just coming here just give it a time to a bit okay hit save now uh okay this drop down is should be here but not giving the proper direction i think it should be with that uh how can you say should be ui and should be drop down okay you can just go and uh, cross make that one by just maintaining this uh I think the ts.config.js just you need to put that oh, it's already configured i don't know how it's not giving that okay so i need also that redis icon here okay let's grab, grab that pnpmi install that redis ui react icons so after providing that it should work properly and we'll be able to grab these things so where are we gonna put that let's roll back to the header as you see that is the first instances here so it should be coming here so let's make that theme toggler should be theme what the main uh i think we put that theme no not the theme toggler because that's the name is not the name it's getting at the mood toggler so we're gonna replace with that theme toggler okay so now we'll be able to get that theme toggler save let's roll back here as you see as soon as i just going through in that okay it's coming here if i click light mode okay it's giving the light theme if i go in the dark mode it's giving the dark theme so now how we can do as the same thing we have been done there so that's the button it's not required so i'm gonna just generate one h2 tag which going to uh, say as that home page so it will be home page and i'm gonna just give some class theme to be modified with that text going to be to excel and font it will be semi bold and also it will be underline underline offsets going to be a four and then decoration which going to be one pixel to just make it a bit of thinner and margin bottom should be three it's save. and now i need to grab some of the text let's give a p tag p tag i'm gonna put uh, put a lorem of 200 just to generate some of the random text to be untitled here or what i can do instead of 400 i can go and grab 500 that's just free text here so now 
this text i'm gonna modify a bit but before generating that text uh, in line on that for some class name here should be text lg and tracking should be uh tracking should be white and what i'm gonna do that p and that h tag i'm gonna just make with that in within my container okay done as soon as i did that as you see that looks quite cool if i go and click on the light theme working fine dark theme working pretty much fine now you can go and just change whenever you want to feel it to be changed and if you want to change your theme you can just need to modify here as you see in the global start a CSS you can just modify that road color the base color which is working as for the light theme and simply that dark parameter you can change and you need to link up that one with the tailwind.config.ts within that parameter as you see all the colors is coming here for the accent for the popover for the car it just directing here so I think that will be very simple uh, like uh, simple and not much of the complication to install that and you can uh, use it in your entire application and if you have any problem let me know in the comments below we can also sort it out we can make it more complex if you want and also let me know in the comments if you want more of like this video and please like the video and subscribe the channel so i'll see in the next video again